Hello everyone and welcome to this preview of Shavlik Protect. My name is Joe Andert and I'm a technical communicator with Shavlik. In this video I'll be demonstrating how easy it is to use the many different features of the program. So let's get started. Shavlik Protect is a multifunction tool that enables you to easily perform patch management, threat management, and power management tasks and more on the physical and virtual machines in your network. In this video, I'll start by demonstrating how easy it is to use the patch management feature. I'll scan three test machines for missing patches, review the scan results, and deploy a missing patch. I'll start on the home page by typing a name for the operation I'm about to perform. You then select the machine group you want to scan. In this case, I've pre-selected a test group named Sample Machine Group. I'll accept the default scheduling option, which is to perform the scan right now, and then I'll initiate a patch scan operation. This list shows the many different operations I can perform. I'll simply select the default patch scan template and then click Scan Now. The operations monitor shows the steps involved in the patch scanning process and the progress of each step. When the patch scan process is complete, you can view the results by clicking View Results. The scan results are displayed within Scan View. The top pane identifies the machines that were scanned. The middle pane displays the patch status of the selected machines. You can also view the patch status of an individual machine. In this case, you can see that our first test machine is woefully out of date. The scan detected 116 missing patches. You can view more detail about the missing patches by expanding the patch missing list. You can select an individual patch and view detailed information about it in the bottom pane. By comparison, our second test machine is in much better shape and is only missing six patches. I'll now select the third test machine and use it to show how easy it is to deploy a missing patch. You simply select the desired patch and then initiate the deployment using the right-click menu. The Deployment Configuration dialog is used to specify how and when the patch will be deployed. For this demonstration, let's elect to deploy the patch a couple of days from now, on a Sunday. If you are prompted for credentials when you schedule the deployment, be sure to supply credentials that match your current user account or the scheduling process will fail. The operations monitor shows the status of each step in the deployment process. When the deployment is complete, you can review the results by clicking View Summary. And that's it. That's how easy it is to scan for and deploy missing patches. Shavlik Protect also contains a number of other easy-to-use features. For example, let's perform an asset inventory scan on the sample machine group. I'll simply go back to the home page and perform the scan using an asset inventory template. As with all scans, the operations monitor shows the steps involved in the scanning process. Now that the asset scan is complete, I can review the results of the scan from machine view. For example, I can view the software programs that are installed on a machine 
and I can see information about that machine's hardware assets. I can also perform a power status scan on my machines. And just like that, I can instantly see that my three test machines are all online. Finally, let me show you how easy it is to run a PowerShell script against your machines. Back on the home page, I'll simply select the IT script option. I can now choose to run any of the scripts that I've approved for use in this program. In this case, I'll select a script that will show me the last time each of my three test machines were restarted. And as easy as that, I can see the last reboot dates and times for each of my test machines. Here. These two web pages contain additional video tutorials as well as a large number of Shablik Protect user guides. Thanks for watching.